Good morning. Good morning, sir. Let me begin by introducing our team first, and then we'll have a quick round of introductions from our team. I am Deepak Patel. I'm a teacher here since 1971, and uh, I run the National Mission Projects on uh, training 10,000 teachers as well as the massive open online courses. My colleague, Professor Avinash Shaute, <coughs> also an alumnus of this institute. In fact, we are contemporaries. We were students together. When I was a teacher, he was a student. He spent his lifetime in data consultancy services. Uh, retired several years ago voluntarily to do some social service and agreed to do social service in IIT Bombay. He is the one who, and his team, organizes the entire summer internship every year. We have uh, Shweta here, she is one of Fabina uh, Shaute's team. Uh, Rajesh Kushakar, who heads our affordable solutions lab and essentially handles the hardware projects. Uh, Rahul, who would be interacting with, he is the admin person. We have two more admin people. Uh, mm -hmm. Khatri and uh, Dilip Sabe is outside. So in case you have any admin related issues, he will be able to take care uh, of Could we have a quick round of introductions to all of you so that... Uh, okay. Okay. Ah, we have uh, Nagesh Karmani and Viruza. Uh, they primarily help us handling the cloud-based uh, MOOCs offerings. Uh, we also have another uh, set of people who handle the backend system administration for the cloud. And uh, there is another team which handles the big data analytics. There are several teams working under Professor Aute on Shiksha and uh, other related issues. Uh, the MOOCs, uh, software development on OpenEDX is handled by his team. Aparna uh, Pansare has that team. She should be here today sometime to talk to you. So this is roughly our group, you know more about us as we go by. Uh, Hello. 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 Uh, sir, uh, I am Prathamesh Dahare from uh, Visitia College, Mumbai. And I am I'm in second year computer science. You are in second year? Uh, I completed second year just now. It's very rare that we admit people after second year for, uh, uh, for uh, internship. You must have done something special to come here. Uh, sir, uh, I, I got fourth rank in uh, that programming contest. Ah, with the program. So I want to see this. <laughs> Thank you. That means from here. Uh, my name is Pranav Ganorkar. I am from uh, Vivekanand Education Institute of Technology. Uh, I, I, uh, I also got a fourth rank in the programming contest. I was selected from a uh, software quota. You are also a second year student? Uh, yes, I am a second year student. Prabhatakarwal from IIT Kharagpur. I am a second year student of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Prabhakar? Prabhat Agarwal. Prabhat. 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 What courses have you done in IIT Kharagpur? Who taught you the equivalent of CS 101? That there are four or five teachers who teach uh, first year programming course to... Uh, Arvindu Gupta. Arvindu You are also a second year student. Yes. Good morning, sir. I am Sagar Gawal from uh, Motilal Nehru National Institute of Technology. I have completed my second year. Motilal Nehru, that is Allahabad? Yes. At one time, the Allahabad uh, uh, REC, as it was known, yes, sir. National Institute, uh, was amongst one of the top NITs. Then, over the last 10 years, it sort of degraded itself very beautifully. Has, uh, it, has it started coming back? Yes, sir. Uh, in uh, computer science and uh, IT field, it has uh, it has bounced back, uh, but not in all other fields. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. <coughs> My name is Mohsin Mohammed. I am from NIT Agartala. Ah, 
Mohsin Muhammad. So have you resolved that uh, ticklish issue? Yes, sir. Your friend is not here. Yo, yes, sir. But you should be very, very careful that you so-called help your friends. Yes, the story is worth telling. He had submitted his uh, assignment here and uh, within a uh, uh, few hours there was another assignment which was identical. I remember the name Mohsin. And Obviously, two identical assignments will get caught at IIT Bombay. So, Professor Avinash Jhaute refused permission to both of them. Then he wrote back consistently five emails, I think, two to me, three to him, and so on, saying that he has not copied, but another friend who wanted to see the code to understand the concepts, he had shared the code with him. So, Moshe, it beats my limited intelligence as to how at 6 a.m. in the morning a friend comes to you saying, I want to just look at your code to understand the principles and then I'll write the entire thing on my own. When you yourself took two days to write that code, how did you expect that idiotic friend of yours to understand and then write the entire code on his own in six hours time before the deadline? I have no idea. You didn't. So obviously you wanted to help. You wanted to be a good friend. This is not good friendship. A good friend would have said, <coughs> sit down here, I'll spend two hours explaining the concept and then you write it on your own. So learn what is meant by good friendship also. This is what you have dis uh, displayed is actually total animosity. You have acted as if you were his best enemy, ensuring that he will never learn anything in his life. <coughs> Go back and make amends. I want that fellow also to become as good a programmer as you are in next one year. And since I am involved with Agartala, I will come next year to see whether he learns programming or not. <laughs> Your responsibility. Good. Sit down. Thank you. Oh, good morning, sir. So my name is Ankit Rauka. Sorry? Ankit Rauka. Ankit? Rauka. R-A-O-N-K-A. R-A-O-N-K-A. Okay. So I am from CAC department at IDA Agartala. And I am a pre-final year student. Pre-final year, that means? Third year. Third year, yes sir. You have completed third year? Yes, I have completed third year. Oh, you are also from Agartala? Yes sir. You are Moses Batchman? Yes sir. So why did you not spend time in teaching that trend of his? It's a different block. Different block, I see. <laughs> so I give both of you joint responsibility. Okay, sure sir. Okay. Thanks sir. Good morning sir. I am from um, myself, Ravi Prakash Vajpayee. I am from National Institute of Technology, Agartala. Uh, and why are you partial to NIT Agartala? <laughs> <laughs> Software quota. Now I am yes. suspicious. Did you copy each other? Sir, I am not joking. Good morning, sir. So my name is Shailesh Mani Pandey. I am from IIT Roper. Shailesh Mani Pandey. You are a third year student? No, second year student. I am a Roper. Yes. Thank you. Roper finally has a director. Has he joined? Not no, yet. sir, not yet. <coughs> Good morning, sir. My name is Nitish Dev. I am from BNIT, Nagpur. Ah. BNIT used to send a lot of students every year. Are there others from BNIT? Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> not bad. What has been over there? They also use software. I see. You are also third year? Uh, yeah, I completed my third year. Completed? Third year. Yeah. Good morning, sir. My name is Anushka Zizani. I am from BNIT. I have completed my second year. Computer Science and Engineering. Good morning, sir. I am Harshita Kumbhare. I am from BNIT. And I have completed my second year in computer science management. Morning, sir. I am Manasa Gadiyar and I am from NIT Kesar. I have completed my second year uh, in electronics and communications. Manasa Gadiyar. Manasa. 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 You are from? Uh, NIT Kesar. Oh. Uh, 
Good morning, sir. I am Zarna Parikh from BAIC T Gandhi Nagar. I am computer my second one. And you are from? EIICT. Oh, you are from English. Good morning, sir. My name is Meghna Pata. I finished my second year from NITK Surat. Information technology. Meghna Pata. Hello, sir. I am Anurag Das from Triple IT Lahabad. I have completed my second year. Anurag Triple IT Lahabad. I visited that place long, long time ago. Uh, most students had to assemble their own pieces when they joined the institute. Does that tradition continue or no? Sir, it has to stop now. Huh? It has to stop now. So sad. People would get first hand experience of dirtying their hands very early. So now you get ready made assembled machines. Yes, sir. Very bad. But <laughs> did you ever play with that hardware later on in the second year? Sir, there second? is a class in the first semester of that. Good morning, sir. I am Ankit Kumar from IIT Patna. I have completed my second year from Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Ankit, IIT Patna. My friend uh, yes, sir. Uh, Pushpak is going there as the director. Yes, sir. You had so far an acting director from IIT Kharagpur. Uh, from Kharagpur. Uh, TV Chakra yeah. <coughs> Oh, well, go on that way and it will be very funny. You should actually manage this. So you should have completed columns as you were, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Good morning, sir. I am Jay Botra from NIT Surat. I have completed my third year from Computer Engineering Department. Third year Surat. Good morning, sir. Myself, Anjay Abhishek from Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology, Bhubaneswar. I have completed my third year from Computer Science and Engineering Department. Thanks, sir. Good morning, sir. Myself, Gunjan Kulkarni. I am from BNIT Nagpur, Computer Science and Engineering Department. You are also a third year student, Gunjan? Sir, second year. Second year. Good morning, sir. I'm Aishwarya from Madras Institute of Technology. Uh, I've completed my third year from uh, Information Technology Department. MIT. Yeah. Good morning, sir. I'm Dheeraj Gandhi. I'm from BNIT Nagpur. I've completed my second year, Computer Science Engineering Department. Good morning, sir. I'm Kamal Devra. I'm from BNIT Nagpur. Completed my second <coughs> second year from Computer Science Engineering Department. Good morning, sir. I'm Devang Dinanath Palo. I'm from BNIT. Completed my second year computer science in Indian. Good morning, sir. I'm Nihal Yolikar from BNIT Nagpur, and I have completed my second year in computer science. What's your name, is it? Nihal. Nihal. Nihal Yolikar. Nihal. You're also second year. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. My name is Apurva Grewal from Triple IT Alaba. I've completed my second year in B Tech Electronics. Triple IT, uh, Triple IT? Allahabad. Oh, Triple IT, Allahabad. Yes, sir. You one more person, Anurag from yes, Triple IT. Anurag Das, sir. Morning, sir. I'm Bhargav Teja Kodali. I'm from ISM Nirbad. I completed my second year in computer science and engineering. Which place, Raghav? Uh, ISM Dhanbad, sir. Oh, ISM Dhanbad. <coughs> Bhargav, sir. You have completed which year? Second year in computer science. Good morning, sir. I am Sanjay Kumar from NIT. I couldn't get you. No, no, just hold it like this. Sudhansu Nandini. I didn't get your name still. Sudhansu Nandini. Sudhansu. How do you spell? Sudhansu. SHU, SHU, DHF, NSHU. You are also from NIT, is that? Yes. And you are completed third year? Yes. Good morning, sir. My name is Nikita Vegani. I am from NIT Silchar, Computer Science and Engineering Department. I have completed my third year. Silchar? Yeah. 
completely directed the Prasad Deshpande. Yeah. Good morning, sir. I am Samriti from BIM Mestra. And I have completed my third year from Computer Science and Engineering department. Which? Mestra Raji? Yeah. Is it Manoj Mestra here or there at Pitts now? Sorry? Who is the director? Good morning, sir. I am Alankrita Das from Anandi Agartala. I am a pre pioneer student in Electrical Engineering Department. In Electrical? Yeah, sir. Good morning, sir. I am Monika Chan and I am from MLNIT Allahabad. I have completed my second year in Information Technology. Second year? Yes. Okay. This is Amin Kaman from NIT Goa. Uh, I have completed my third year uh, CSE. NIT Goa has just been displaced from Goa Engineering College to accommodate IIT Goa. So okay. where are you operating from now? It's, it's from GC campus right now. There, is, there are no movements of setting IIT Goa as of now. Uh, it's on just paper. Only on paper. But the batch will be admitted this year. Yes. That, that's what this is. NIT has finally got a place or not? Yes. They have got uh, their own temporary campus, but they are separated from GC right now. So how much of uh, GEC facilities uh, did you use during your first two years? Uh, labs. Labs and classrooms. Labs and classrooms. Teachers were your own? Yes. Good. At least teachers were your own. Good morning, sir. My name is Arinjay Boshak. I am Sorry? Arinjay Boshak. Arinjay Boshak. Yeah, I have completed my third year in computer science and technology engineering from IIST Shivpur. How are you? Good morning, sir. I am Shubhadu Chattavadhyay from NIT Durgapur and I have completed third year computer science. NIT Durgapur. Good morning sir, my name is Abhay Khosla, I am from IIT Karakur and I have just completed my second year from the Electronics and Electrical Communication Engineering Department. Good morning. My name is Rajesh, I am from RJ Tripulative Boston. You are from? RJ Tripulative Boston. Which place? Telangana State, Boston. Hyderabad. Hyderabad? Hyderabad State. Oh, Hyderabad is now Telangana. Yes, yes, I keep forgetting that. You have completed your third year? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. My name is Kumar, Chitran Kumar. So, I have completed my third year in computer science and engineering. RG Triple IT Bus. RJ? RG Triple IT Bus. What do you mean? RG Triple IT? RG Triple IT Bus. My name is Mohamed Subhiruti. Mohamed Subhiruti. I am from RGPD to Brady Master. What is your name again? Mohamed Subhiruti. Mohamed Subhiruti. Yeah, I completed my computer science engineering in RGPD to Brady Master. You are all the same. Yeah, same, same. It is not necessary that people from the same institute must sit together and must work together. In fact, there is an occasion where you can mingle and meet others. Good morning, sir. Sir, my name is Ankit Kumar. I am from ABV Triple Agin Ah, Deshpande's place. Yes, I just visited that place uh, about 20 days ago. Uh, IITM Gwalior. Yes, and what uh, year you have completed? Sir, 30. You have a good canvas. Good morning, sir. I am Keyul Zoshi from IIT Hyderabad. I completed my second year in CSE department. Uh, my friend uh, Uday Desai has been trying a variety of experiments there with 
shorter courses, yes, one credit courses, yes, seven day courses. Have you tried to take some of these? No, sir. All those are two third year, yes. they are all common courses. No, sir. They are for our juniors, some boys. Oh, they are for your juniors? Junior you have to do the conventional courses only? Yes, sir. Right. We are doing yes, that's a very novel and important experiment which may actually spread like wildfire across the country. Once the AICT and UGC are either dismantled or reorganized, giving full autonomy to smaller institutions, then probably these changes will happen faster. Okay. Good morning, sir. My name is Amita Singh. I am from IIT Jamshedpur. I have completed my third year in Computer Science and Engineering Department. You have NIT in Jamshedpur also? Yes. Which state is that? Chakad. Oh. So not, not in Rachi? No, sir. Rachi that is BIT Mishra. And Jamshedpur that is National Institute of Technology. Good morning, sir. I am Priyanka Hiranandani from NIT Surat. I have completed my B.Tech third year uh, from uh, Computer uh, Department. Thank you. Surat. Good morning, sir. I'm Ashtisha Panukar from UGTI. Uh, I've completed my third year computer engineering. <coughs> Good morning, sir. I'm Manisha. I'm from Gandhi Institute of Technology and Management, Vishakhapatnam. And I've completed my third year from CSE. Can you tell us something more about this institute? I don't recall having. Uh, sir, uh, Keetam Institute, we have this uh, uh, university for uh, engineering and management. We have three branches in Bangalore and Hyderabad. And Vishakhapatnam. And Vishakhapatnam. Shakhapatnam is the one which was established uh, earlier. And the new branches are uh, Bangalore and Hyderabad. So in Vishakhapatnam, how big is your campus? Sir, area wise, I don't remember, but it's very big. How many? <laughs> It's huge. Like for, uh, <laughs> for CSE department, they, uh, for C for only for CSE department, they'll be having around 11 sections, and for each section, they're having 66 students. It's very big. And how many teachers? Faculty is around 150. For computer Yes. 150 faculty members in computer Yes, sir. Because you put IIT Bombay to share. <laughs> <laughs> we have only 44 faculty members, and we, we claim that we are the largest among the entire IIT NIT system. Uh, but it's a private college. Uh, private or public, it doesn't matter. All of them are PhDs. <laughs> but I must look at the Gita Vishakhapatnam. Yes. I have gone to Vishakhapatnam many years ago. But that was my holiday, so I will this time I will come to Gita Minshu to check myself. Good morning, sir. This is Abhishek Sharma. I am from BIT Jaipur campus and I have completed my third year from Computer Science Department. Abhishek, which institute you said? It's a Birla Institute of Technology, Jaipur. Birla Institute is there in Jaipur as well? Yeah, sir. This is a branch from BIT Mesra campus. Oh, BIT Mesra is a branch in Jaipur? Yes, sir. And it's Pilani and the branch in Goa. Yes, sir. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you also completed 30 years of mission? Computer science. Good morning, sir. I'm Arushi Kumar and I'm from Triple IT Jabalpur. I've completed my second year, CSE. <coughs> Triple IT? Jabalpur. I visited Triple IT Jabalpur many years ago. Who is your Yes, sir. She recently got off and we have a new Who is the new director? Sir, I don't know his name. We have a new director. Oh, she finished her term. She is very happy to see you. Good morning, sir. My name is Sinali K from IIT DV in Lord. And I have completed my third year uh, in Computer Science and Engineering Department. You are from IIT? IIT, DMV, Indore. Tanwani student? Uh, 
Still have about 10 minutes to talk and particular reflection. Now I have to go back to the Okay, so first of all, welcome to this institute. Uh, the summer internship has become quite an important activity here because when we started, we started small with about 10 or 15 students. Rajesh, you remember that early days? 29. Yes. And uh, uh, people from Jaipur had designed the prototype of the clicker and tried it in our convocation hall, effectively communicating across very large distance. Subsequently, that resulted in a actual proper device designed by Kushalka's team and uh, its usage. Uh, we started increasing the number of schools because we found that students benefit and we also benefit in terms of contribution that these schools make. Now, here is an opportunity for you, an opportunity for us. And that opportunity can be utilized best by both you and us by doing some very focused work together. <coughs> We have some very exciting projects that are going on, many of which will require you to become familiar with technology that you may not have used earlier. I hope you all understand, being very good students in your own respective places, that technology that you learn while you are studying is merely an indication of what kind of things will happen and what kind of things you have to make happen so that in future you can solve more complex problems for the society. And therefore, you can never say, I have not studied this or I have not learned this. Something new comes. So what you have studied actually is how to learn new things quickly and apply them. Sadly, not all students of a class understand this and they limit themselves to thinking in terms of whatever they have studied explicitly and they barely understand how to apply whatever they have just learned to solve problems. In many of the institutes in the country, problem solving is not adequately emphasized. Whereas in our system and so in the system of most of the institutes that you come from, the emphasis is on solving real problems for which you have no examples, no textbook, no guidance, no nothing. You see a problem, you plunge into it, analyze it, so try to see what can be done. If required, learn new technology. Adopting new technology, therefore, should be a matter of days, not even weeks and months. That is what is expected of you, because you are better performing short. We expect no less from you. Very methodical and systematic work is important particularly when you work in team. Take any software project, if four people work together, it will just not make sense if each of the four programmers program in their own style, their own ways, so that the combined effect is absolutely a random walk. That we cannot afford. Uh, how many of you have done a course in software engineering? None, I suppose, very few. Third year students would have done, but second year students would not have done. Software engineering is not about a particular set of topics to be understood. It's about a philosophy. It's about a philosophy of going about programming in a very, very methodical way, starting with what you call requirement specifications, spending time on analysis and design, and then you start coding. Now, unfortunately, in this short interval of time, you may not have the luxury to do all these aspects completely. So therefore, there are teams here which will tell you about an existing base software which already has been written by people. Incidentally, you will be mostly dealing with very large software group. What is the largest software that you have handled in your life so far in terms of source code? It would be mostly the assignment that you would have written yourselves. 500, 700 lines, 1000 lines, 2000 line programs. Have you ever handled a system which has, let's say, 15,000 lines of code? One, two. Have you ever handled a system which has 100,000 lines of code? No. Have you done a course in operating system? Yes. Did you not use the Linux source code to experiment with? So what 
source code did you use to experiment with operating system routines and so on? None. So that is not all. When you are studying operating system, operating system is not a subject in philosophy. It is a subject in actual program. So how did you write your memory management, uh, 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 file management, process management uh, routines? They studied them from the book. Yeah, but when you are writing operating system, you are supposed to implement system calls. Yes. Uh, so how did you practice writing system calls? Sir, so we have to modify the code written by tenant form, sir. Uh, code written by? Tenant form, sir. That was the... Uh, oh, I see. That was the prototype used for it. But when the Linux operating system is available in its full-fledged regalia, why not use it? Compilers. You have done a course in compilers? Did you use GCC? Do <coughs> So how big is the GCC code? How many of you have read at least one tenth of the GCC code while studying compilers? None. Understanding large code which has been written professionally by large groups is itself an important learning. Those of you who will be working on some of the projects here will be required to read such code. So for your information, uh, the massive open online courses that we offer through IIT Bombay X, that platform has been built by Professor Abhinash Aute's team using Open EDX. Now Open EDX, if you take the entire code base, it is some two and a half million lines. But nobody writes two and a half million lines. The code that has been written by the people in MIT and Harvard initially and then contributed to by a large community which has already developed around open EDX is about 250,000 lines. It uses uh, mainly Python, uses the Django framework and it uses either, not either, uh, the MongoDB, the distributed object DB and MySQL. You have studied databases. But you would have used one particular database to handle only structured queries. SQL is what you would have studied. You probably would not have studied object databases. You are familiar with ODBC and JDBC calls. That is, you write some front end and the way you connect to the back end database is through those calls. But how many of so you are familiar with XML? But how many of you are familiar with JSON? which are typically used for database interaction these days. Most of the message formats in any capture of interaction are typically coded by the machine which generates these messages in JSON. And you have to handle JSON, you have to parse them, you have to understand them, you have to extract information and so on. I'm just describing one particular code base on which many of you will be working. So there are two important aspects that you have to remember. Number one, never get scared of the size. Number two, never get scared of the new platform that come to life. You have to go with the complete confidence that you are good at programming and that's it. Any new technology, any new thing, you should be able to master it quickly. It doesn't matter if you make some mistakes. That is why it is called internship. You're not professional programmers being paid salaries, but you are intern so that you learn and you continue. But contribution you must because particularly for this MOOCs platform, for the blended mode, we have a whole lot of uh, information requirement. So let me just tell you how we are going to offer the blended MOOCs uh, next semester. Three courses, on, one on thermodynamics, one on uh, <coughs> signals and systems, and one on introduction to computer programming using C, C++ will be offered across the country to all learners. But specifically those institutions, such as yours for example, which agree to accept the MOOC course course of marks as a part of their own grade. So they might decide on a percentage of marks to be allocated to MOOCs course, percentage to local core, etc., etc. Such Recognition of credit of MOOCs is considered important and will be offering these. 
I'll be having a meeting of about 100 vice chancellors or directors of autonomous institutions on 6th of June. I uh, will agree to experiment with this. Now, they will require consistent MIS reports. They will require inputs from big data analytics that will be done for the students of their college which participate in this. So imagine there are one lakh students doing a particular course. And my institute, let's say in Agartala or someplace, agrees to do this. I have maybe 500 students, 600 students, 100 students. Now for those 100 students, I would like to know, week by week, how they are performing in the quizzes, how they are performing vis-a-vis -vis the other students in the enrollment of the whole nation. And more importantly, through the big data analytics, how they are learning, what is the nature of their learning interaction. I don't know whether you understand the learning interaction. When you do a course online, then whenever you see a video, it gets tracked. Whenever you see a sample problem, it gets tracked. Whenever you appear for an online test, how much time you spend on each question, it gets tracked. This is the learning behavior of the students, which otherwise is impossible for a teacher to know. In normal classes, I have interaction with you during the classroom. And most of the time is spent in my giving a lecture. In the flipped classroom model that we are suggesting, in the institutions which adopt this model, they will not spend time in giving lectures. The lectures will have to be studied by students in their hostels or in their spare time. The entire classroom will be utilized, class hour, in discussion sessions, problem solving, and so on. We have experimented with that in IIT Bombay itself. The flipped classroom has been tried for the last five years by different faculty members. And we are convinced that it enhances the engagement with students significantly. Can you imagine if the entire hour is spent in discussions and problem solving? Our colleagues, Professor Sana Murthy and Professor Sridhar Iyer have perfected a technique called think pair share Have you heard of this? So it works like this. I give a problem, individually you solve it for five minutes. Then we ask each one to pair with the neighbor and examine the neighbor's solution and neighbor examines your solution. So you share that. And then we ask uh, a few such groups I have experimented it in CS101 where the neighbor was not one, but a group of five or six people. And then we arbitrarily take one or two solutions which come out of such discussions and display them for the whole class. And the entire class enjoys finding out mistakes in, because we love finding mistakes in others' programs. Right? It's a very, very uh, uh, engaging environment and more important, since everybody is supposed to apply one's mind to solve a problem, to discuss it with others, and then listen to the composite discussion, the learning is n times more. So we would like this type of teaching and learning to happen across all institutions. It may take five years, ten years. We would like to start that. We are starting with this. Now coming back to your internship program, I spent quite some time in explaining the nature of blended MOOCs that we wish to offer. But if I have to offer, suppose now I am a teacher in, uh, let's say, uh, NIT Surat Club, and I accept this model. Now, what I would expect to know, I have, let's say, 100 students doing thermodynamics. I would not only like to know how these 100 students are performing every week by week. I would like to get help from additional problems from the teacher who teaches thermodynamics here. I would like to know out of these 100 students who are the ones who are viewing the lectures just four hours before the quiz and those who are viewing the lectures throughout the uh, week properly. And I would know it additionally because during the week I will be engaging my students in the flip classroom. So it is a novel model and its success depends upon our software being able to give required information to every participating institution on a regular basis. Now we have the Open EDX platform on which, uh, ah, Aparna is here, can you raise your hand? Aparna is, uh, Avinash out is uh, general on the field uh, working with uh, the Open EDX platform to develop this. Earlier they had developed a blended books model where we were wanting to establish 
a server running in each participating institution and to do some kind of a synchronization in the evening. We have now modified this in difference to the wishes of the uh, vice chancellors and directors with whom we had discussions, who said that let us conduct our own institution classes the way we want to, but we would like to merge in this fashion. Now many of you will be working on A, the MIS reports to be generated properly. Please remember that we don't get the roll number and other things on the MOOCs platform when ID Bombay X offers courses. We just get your ID, your name and your place. So the local college will have to give us that these are the students who are studying here and will have to extract information. Please also remember that the students interaction which results in what we call event log. They need to be analyzed for both, for generating MIS reports as well as for doing a big data analytics on trades. We would like to see the global trades. How long do people on an average watch videos? How much time people spend on looking at individual problems in graded quizzes? How long people spend in looking at solved examples? All of these are buried into extremely complex <coughs> JSON messages. So understanding them, handling them. We have a <coughs> sort of Hadoop-like environment. We'll use Hive. And Nagesh is here. Nagesh, <coughs> have we installed Spark? So, because that will work much faster, right? And Avilash is not there. We will try and find out how many of you are familiar with cloud? They just heard of cloud. So virtual machines, for example. A few people. Anyway, all of you will probably be given access to some virtual machines on which you can try out these installations and so on. How many of you are familiar with uh, software version control systems? Version control of your programs you have tried? One, two, three, four, five, six. Only half raise hands. Full raise hands. How many of you are familiar with GitHub? Ah, several people. And Ansible? Ansible is effectively a, a software version control system on GitHub. Ansible is used by the OpenAlias platform and also by us. So become familiar with some of these things will be required. Now not all of us are very fast learners. Some people will learn slowly, some people will learn faster. That is why the team structure is very important. The team has to work coherently. So suppose I am a laggard and I fall in a team of four. <coughs> Obviously, all the other three will quickly notice that I am taking time to learn. Then you three will have to spend time with me in the night to bring me up to date or next day or something like that because all of us have to move very quickly. Okay. Leadership will emerge automatically from such teams. We don't intend to impose leadership ourselves. We would let the teams work and throw out the leadership. So within a few days, each team will have to throw up a coordinator. He is the first among the people, he or she is the first among the people. It's not, leader is not like sit down and do this kind of thing. You have to work together. Mm -hmm. While you do all this, you must of course enjoy life. All work and no play is useless. We have a swimming pool. Uh, uh, is the Kapri used to, you, you can handle that membership or whatever, whatever is required. We have a very good library. Uh, we don't have movie shows in the convocation halls anymore. That is top. But the campus itself is a beautiful place. You can move around. You are staying in hostels 7, 8, and? 15. Oh, 15. And all the girls are staying where? 15. Oh, 15. It's a new one somewhere. Yeah. I personally do not like to walk much, therefore I find all these places very far away. But you are very young, you would enjoy walking I guess. Yeah, of course buses or something like that. But enjoy the campus life as well. Uh, try to see the labs which will, which will be around, even though you are not working for example in the affordable solutions lab. Uh, only how many people are electronics students basically? One, two, three, four, five. Most others are interested in computer science and, and software uh, uh, 
to this fight. But there is an affordable solutions lab. We incidentally do not distinguish between hardware and software in, in terms of it. Have you heard of embedded systems? Yes, yes. Much of the software is getting implemented in hardware now. And that is what many of you are destined to uh, devote your time and energy in professional life. So, uh, in fact, dividing knowledge in silos of computer science, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering itself is very bad. Okay. It destroys the element of engineering in each one of you. An engineer is a problem solver who doesn't care which branch of knowledge is required or which branch of knowledge is required to solve a particular problem. So you may not know much about mechanical engineering, but you should be willing to learn, study, and take help from other mechanical engineers that are required. So you are essentially going to become problem solvers, and that is what we expect all of you to spend your time. You will be here for eight weeks. So you already are familiar with the campus. You are here for last two days, I understand. How many of you have came? How many of you came yesterday? And how many of you came day for yesterday? Oh, very long. 48 hours on the campus is a lot of trouble. Do you know every nook and corner now? <laughs> Where you get coffee at 2 o'clock in the night? How many of you know that? Ah, 1, 2, 3, good. And that is often required when you work late. Uh, we do not have time limits on the working in the labs. Of course, you are not our regular students, but for our regular students, we have key permissions issued that they can work at any point in time. This is one ethos of this institute which we would like you to carry back if it already does not exist in your institution. Our principle is that if a student wishes to work for 10 minutes at 2 a.m. in the morning, then the lab must be made available to that student at 2 a.m. in the morning. If we cannot make it available, then it is our mistake of this. Of course, not all students would like to work at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, they have better things to do, mostly sleeping, or online gaming, online movie, whatever, whatever, in their office. But there are always some mad fellows who would like to spend time in the lab, and we insist that the lab be made available. Now, it may not be possible for us to make the lab available at 2 a.m. in the morning for the interns, but we would like to keep the labs open as much as is possible. Uh, you will all be working in the uh, new software lab annex with OSL. OSL is not free on 11th and 12th for PAD admissions, I guess. Yeah, but that's okay. So today, anyway, you will go through the uh, engagement by various colleagues who will tell you about their respective projects and so on. And you will have to select a particular project. Uh, I suggest that you give two or three choices that you will be collecting. Three. Three choices three. you will be collecting. And but it will be not project, group. Huh, groups. So you will collect uh, three choices for the groups. We will try to accommodate the first choice as far as possible, but we have to distribute people sort of uh, evenly across different projects. We will do that. And once that is done, you come to know probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So, uh, unfortunately, I am required to visit uh, Delhi tomorrow, an emergency meeting of the platform. So, my, my mails has some effect. Okay. So, I will be there off and on. I will probably spend some time with you. Uh, when tomorrow I am in Delhi, day after tomorrow there will be a meeting in Goa. <coughs> 14th, I'll be back here. 14th. You'll be here. And 15th. Yeah, you'll be here. Uh, I, I keep moving around, so I'll be there whenever I can. But we have colleagues here who will spend time with you. Uh, there is one danger when you do projects which require understanding of very large base on the top of which you have to build something. Uh, in spite of my suggestion that don't at all be scared, be confident, initially there will be a scare. And the tendency when you are scared is to find out some hand to hand hold. Okay. Now my colleagues will be here to help you out. But let me tell you, the earlier you detach yourself from these experts, the better it is for you and the better it is for the project. 
we would like ultimately each one of you has to become a top class professional and top class professionals don't depend on outside help except when required so minimize that maximize your own learning and don't worry about experimenting initially at least okay so all right um all the best i hope you enjoyed the best would be that when at the end of this entire exercise of uh eight weeks of your training uh, of your internship when you go back very happy and proud that you have not only learned something significant but you have contributed something to actual on going point and for us the moment of pride will be that when we find that all of you without exception have learned something new please understand that for us you are a number 54 today maybe 75 after two more weeks or whatever but you are not statistics each one of you is an individual and it is our ambition as teachers that each one of you should benefit we are not interested in statistical happiness saying 90% of the interns learn something it has to be 100% as i said because each one of you is not just a part of statistics each one of you is a life young professional aspiring to become a great contributor and that is why while we will be monitoring your activities i would like to know if any one of you you has any problem which is not getting solved and you are not learning sufficiently i would like to know first do not hesitate in contacting any one of us for any problem whatsoever including administrative problems uh, uh, because we'll take care of it any other academic problem your mentors will take care of it but do not hesitate in coming back to us for any problem keeping the problem to yourself is the root cause of problem not getting solved so share it with your team share it with us and maximize both your learning and your enjoyment thank you so much